بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Why is it that we fear others but not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In fact, Allah reminded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of this. None other, he directly told the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Surah Al-Ahzab. Imagine the Messenger of Allah being told this. It's in relation to the marriage of Zainab bint Jahsh radiyallahu anha. I won't go into any of the details at the moment. I've spoken about this before, but... The Prophet ﷺ was informed by Allah of something. And although he wasn't given an instruction to disclose it to the people, Rasulullah ﷺ withheld that personal, it wasn't public, that personal information from the people for the fear of the people misunderstanding and Raising fingers at him. So Rasulullah alayhi salatu was salam, on that occasion, regarding a very personal matter, he feared the reaction of the people. So all he did was withhold the information that Allah had given him, which of course he was placed under no obligation to actually divulge. But for the fact, you see, we, there's a law. Hasanatul abarar, sayyatul muqarrabeen. That the Good deeds of the pious are considered the ill deeds of the closest ones. Meaning, for most people, a certain behavior is not only acceptable, but is actually commendable. But for someone who's the closest, that behavior which is considered good and commendable for others, for such a person, is actually considered reprehensible and well beneath them. To give you an example, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, when he was asked who is the most knowledgeable in the creation, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam said, I am. And according to one narration, he was asked, is there anyone more knowledgeable than you? And he said, there isn't anyone more knowledgeable than me. And which technically is a fact, because he was the messenger of Allah. And in any given people at any time, who is the most knowledgeable? The Prophet of Allah. However, under any other circumstance, for any other individual, such an answer would be fine. But being the messenger of Allah, being the Kalimullah, the one with whom Allah spoke directly, the, such an answer was not befitting his lofty status. Similarly, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did nothing wrong by withholding that information. Nothing wrong whatsoever. But because of his closeness to Allah, because of his unique position, such an option was the lesser of the two preferred options for Rasulullah, for the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wished to remind him of this. And why did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam withhold this information? Simply for the fear of people's reaction. So Allah actually tells him in Surah Al-Ahzab, وَتَخْشَ النَّاسِ وَاللَّهُ أَحَقُّ أَن تَخْشَى And you feared the people, whereas Allah was more rightful that you should have feared him. If even the Holy Messenger وسلم, was being reminded that do not fear the people, rather fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then what can be said of us?